Hi, and welcome back to Cut the Craggle. Thanks to the online store World of Games, we have our first look at some of the LEGO Star Wars sets coming in 2018. By far, the set I'm most excited for is the Act 2 Island training set. Not only does it come with what I think is an exclusive variant of Rey, but also the very first minifigure of sequel trilogy era Luke Skywalker. As for the build itself, I think it looks pretty tidy. I can't imagine this is going to be a very expensive set, so it should be a great way to pick up two of the main characters without breaking the bank. The other sets are a bit of a mixed bag. The other main Last Jedi set is the Defensive Crate, which just looks a bit of a mess to be honest. We're also getting a couple of battle packs, one for the First Order and a bizarre Tatooine battle pack which comes with a couple of Jawas and a Tusken Raider. There's also a prequel era set based around Mace Windu and General Grievous, and whilst it's great to see these characters in sets again, the build that comes with it is fairly uninspiring. There's also a bunch of new micro fighters coming. I'll admit, I do have a bit of a soft spot for these, and now they're going to start releasing some in twin packs as well. Lastly, we have the two new buildable figures that we already knew about. Boba Fett looks absolutely fantastic. I'm really gutted I never got round to picking up Jango Fett so I could display them next to each other. The second is the new Darth Vader, which comes with a more accurate chain cape. And of course, you're also able to take his helmet off to reveal the battle-scarred Anakin underneath. I already have the original Vader buildable figure, but I have to say, I am still tempted by this one. What do you think of the new sets? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Laters!